Hey, what's up guys? So welcome to part two of my RC trailer build. As you can see, I've basically got the frame done. So I've got a pretty good amount done since the last video on this. It took me quite a while again to really sort of figure out exactly how I was going to run the frame. I may have another bit of bracing to do. I'm not really sure yet, but overall I think it's turning out quite well so far. It's a little bit bigger than I had initially intended it to be. But I think that's all right. I think it's still it's going to work pretty good. I did end up using basically all of my aluminum. All I have left at least two little uh, pieces here. So I'll have to get some in the next couple, some more in the next couple of days, so I can uh, finish this project. Still not really sure what I'm going to use for decking. It probably will just be a couple old computer cases. So it'll be a few different sheets of aluminum, maybe one steel. I'm not really sure yet. And there are a bunch of other things I still need to uh, do with this. One thing I did realize that I think is pretty nice is, well, right now the suspension is decently hard. You've got to compress it fairly hard to get the wheels to come up enough to hit where the bed will be. I was thinking though, what if I have something even heavier where the wheels just come up way too high like that. Well, I can actually really easily lock out these leaf springs. All I have to do is push the shackles up like that and the leaf springs get locked into place and they become much, much more stiff as you can see here. Compared to the other side, it just goes way down. So what I was thinking is I could just drill a hole above each shackle and I could just zip tie them up if I ever need to carry a heavy load. So I think that, that turned out pretty convenient. I don't know if that would damage the leaf springs um, in that position, but I don't really know. I don't even know if I'll use it, but having the option is quite nice. So there are still some other things that need to get done other than the bed for this trailer. Like I need to get a hitch on here. I wasn't really sure what to do for a hitch. I didn't want to buy anything. Um, but I thought maybe I could uh, make something similar to a poly block coupler, which is something that I've seen Australians use on their trailers, which is sort of similar to a U-joint, but not really a U-joint because it's offset. So a poly block, let's say uh, this pin here on the side would be back behind the pin going down. So this isn't actually a poly block setup, but it's sort of similar. So what my plan was to do is just have this coming out of the bumper and I'll cut this probably right about there. And then so that would just be my coupler, you know, back up to the vehicle with the trailer. Boom, get nice degrees of movement. I think that'll work fairly well. If anyone has any other suggestions for a hitch, let me know in the comments below. And so there's a, one other two things I still would like to do too. I need to get a jack on here. I think I'll probably just put that right in here somewhere with a bigger block of aluminum. And I think I would like to have a winch on here. Um, a few other things like that, but nothing too big. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this update on my 1 tenth scale RC trailer here. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.